Hey guys, I'm on my property and uh, lots of trees here. I have uh, pine, eastern white pine, white spruce, hemlock, and I have some plantain on the uh, ground here too. But uh, just want to tell you, but I just harvested some. I'll show you the jars. I'm going to make a tincture from uh, the tips of the eastern white pine. And uh, they're usually in, in groups of five, like here. Not the tips, but the actual pine. Occasionally you'll find that some that are not like that, but normally it's five. But uh, yeah, in this case, I'm just using the, the tips. I'm gonna make a tincture. I'm gonna put vodka in there. I'm gonna put it in a small jar and I'll, I'll show you. And uh, rich in vitamins and uh, you can go on to just look it up just google it i will put uh not for the pine but for the spruce on my uh playlist under health from the bottom you'll see a couple things about plantain and and uh, uh some spruce and i'm just gonna i'm gonna show you some spruce in a minute i got some hemlocks here too but uh so this is what i'm doing right now because everything's young now and and you got nice tips but uh, a little different, but uh, this is what I'm doing. And I will stock up in vodka just to use it as a tincture and I'll put it away for about uh, eight weeks, then I'll strain it and I'll save it and take it as needed. There's other videos out there on how to utilize the tinctures. So let me get back to you, we'll continue. Right here, you can, I mean, here it's pretty, you can see the nice hemlock tips. And do something with these too. I've, had, I've made tea out of these two before, but uh, this is the eastern hemlock. So, got that. You can see the difference here. And now we're going to go over here. And uh, this is a small tree I have in the back of my house, uh, spruce. And you can see the, the tips here, as opposed to the regular part of the branch, darker part. The nice spruce tips in, and you can also eat this also if you need, if you had to. Just munch on it. Tastes pretty good though. But uh, yeah, and I have a huge tree in my front yard. Just throwing a little plant. I've got English broadleaf, English plantain here. A lot of uses for that too. But uh, this is nothing here. I have a lot more down there. I'll show you. See all the plantain around here. It's the broadleaf pro t uh, plantain. A lot right around here. That's very good. You might, I've made ointment out of them before, but uh, you can do tinctures, ointment. It's good for burns. A lot of different things. But I just want to show you. I did harvest the leaves for these, and they're drying actually. And uh, you can use them for insect bites and. Just break it up and rub it on the bite when you're in the woods. It used to be called like a pot herb too. You can boil it up a little bit, eat it if you had to. But uh, there's some more over here. Actually, I got it all over the place. So just to let you know what's going on here. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pour the vodka on there. I'm gonna show you what's going on here. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's my uh, Spruce tips, right there, and there's the the white pine that I showed you out there. And so, got a little vodka there. Spoons that I finished up, some of them. Box, I still have to mark them, and then I have a bunch over there. I have some. I know I'm digressing. Norway. Maple, cherry, peanut butter, knife, cooks us. But what we're doing here is I'm gonna pour this vodka. Definitely need more. I have to get really stock up on this and uh, make a nice tincture. Fill that right up. 
Some people put honey in these things, but I don't. I don't want to mess around in case any fermentation works. But I don't know what the alcohol won't happen anyways. But uh, but there we go. I'm going to mark a date on it, and there's a date on the top of this. Put this away for eight weeks, and then I'll strain it, and I'll have a tincture for for spruce and for white pine. And I'm going to do something with the hemlock that I showed you out there too, and uh, the plantain. Another good thing is um, is um, salvia leaves. You can get the leaves. I think I got mine from Arizona somewhere. You get the salvia leaves and you make a tincture tincture out of that. And they've done some studies at the University of New Haven. Actually, that was my school. And um, they take it and then they say it helps with the, uh, take care of the ticks uh, you know, or, or Lyme disease. And um, um, let me get. So, anyways, I, I've had ticks on me for uh, many years. I never got actual Lyme disease, but one time I went to Virginia. I think it was Pope Church, somewhere out in the sticks there, somewhere, and uh, not the actual town, but outside. And uh, my doctor said um, he he was actually down there and worked down there and he thought it was a tick-borne disease and I had like three bags of IV in the hospital all day, VA hospital, but um, got out of there, I was all right and treated me and, you know, took a while. That's the only time I had a tick-borne disease. After that, I started uh, using the salvia tincture that I just mentioned and, uh, and I have that and so when I'm exposed, sometimes I take that. It's been pretty good. I have friends that have had Lyme disease 13 times. I never had it. But uh, just to let you know. And uh, so I put a little parchment paper on here when I seal the top of these uh, spruce and pine. Uh, tip. That's just so it doesn't react with the the metal. And I'll, I'll trim that. But um, and it's very important when using like vinegar like my dandelion vinaigrette or whatever you use. But um, that's what's going on. So just thought I'd share with you. And uh, yeah, thank God for another day. And uh, it's pretty good. Lord provides good medicines out there. And I'm, I'm sure you have um, natural medicines near you. All around you you don't realize it so I'm, I'm learning myself I used to be really good at it, uh, identifying things but uh, um, a little rusty I used to know genus species of everything but or a lot but I'm no I forget a lot of that stuff but uh, so you guys take care it's a little different um, besides spoons but uh, you take care get out in the woods stuff out there have a nice cup of spruce tip tea or pine tip tea or whatever you got whatever herbs you can find out there and uh have a good day take care when you have some more fair run